Hey, fish and friends, JC here with Rad Reeling. This is a continuation of the video I uploaded the other day where I was catching snook. Same day, I'm going back to catch sheephead. Man, the sheephead bite is on. I just ran up to Walgreens, got me another SD card from a GoPro, got plenty of GoPro battery power, and I'm heading back down to the jetties to catch some sheephead. When I walked down there, man, they were just catching them left and right. Coolers full of sheephead. Well, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But the sheephead bite is on, and I'm gonna go back down there and see if I can catch some sheephead. So, uh, hey, stick around. This video is gonna be a lot of fun if I get into some sheephead. But I wouldn't have uploaded the video if I. Didn't catch some sheephead, right? Hey, this is gonna be good. All right. Well, my fishing friends, I'm back in action. Look at that. The bite is on. First cast, man. All right. Good bite. There we go. There we go. We're on. All right. Nice. Sheep's head. Yeah. Delicious. Very nice white meat. Oh yeah. Oh. But then it, it kind of got revived and took Yeah. I don't think this guy's gonna be big enough to keep here. Hey, really quick, I wanted to take a break from editing this video and show you guys the rig that I'm using. Now I started throwing like a free line shrimp because the current would, wouldn't, wasn't even moving hardly and I think I caught maybe one or two sheep's head that way. But I, then I put on like one split shot. But you know what? The rig that worked best for me um, is it's called a knocker rig and you just put the, the egg sinker right on your monofilament line let it slide right down on your hook now the hook size is a number one and the brand would be an owner hook you want a nice sharp number one owner hook not a one aught a number one a number one is smaller than a one aught and this is just a short shank hook and uh, make sure you have some needle nose pliers you'll need that to get those hooks out it'll be a whole lot easier and uh, anyway straight monofilament guys um, I know some of you guys like to give me a hard time about fishing with monofilament but I'm telling you um, because there's so many rocks and everything down there you just got to have a lot of hooks a lot of sinkers because plan on retying you're gonna get hung up you're gonna lose rigs and if you want to spend your time tying leaders on to braid line that's great but I prefer not to it's just a lot quicker to fish with straight 15 pound test monofilament catch a sheephead check your line if it's frayed just retie it you know um, I'd say you know I, depending on whether they were up in the rocks or not um, I might catch three or four sheephead before I even had to ever had to re-rig so um, this works and I don't know what it is about this knocker rig but that thing will roll around down there in the current and it'll move you know 10 feet in the current it doesn't stay in one place and uh you know, maybe it moves around and the, and the sheep's head are more attracted to it that way or something. But I'm telling you what, man, it was like there was a period there, the bite was so hot, it was like you couldn't get your line in the water quick enough. And um, one of the things that I learned about these sheep's head, oh, and by the way, you know what? Thumbs up for always appreciated, you guys. One of the things that I learned about these sheep's head is that they'll bite like crazy and then they just quit. I mean, who knows why they just quit and they'll quit 20, 30, 40 minutes. And then all of a sudden they just bite like crazy. But the thing is, even when they're not biting, you can see them just cruising back and forth on these rocks. Now, apparently this is the season of the year when they come in the inlets and they congregate around these rocks. There's hundreds to thousands of them. They're just like sheep said everywhere. I'd like to say I'm this great sheep said fisherman. And I, you know, I figured out something good with this knocker rig that works tremendously great but uh you guys it's just a matter of hooking your shrimp on there and throwing it down there and waiting for them to bite you know it, it doesn't take like a whole lot of super duper skill to catch these things but uh you know what sure is a lot of fun get out there and go get you some sheep's head if you're somewhere in florida and you can get around rocks and current or structure because they are thick up in there right now it's march i mean february march i don't know if they still running in there in april too but uh, hey let's get back to this video and uh you guys are appreciated man i had so much fun
There we go. Yep. The bite is on. Another good one. Oh yeah. Nice. Come on, man. Get in there. Sheep, sheep's head. Yeah, these are delicious. Very good, yes. Got to make sure. For good measure. How big they got to be? 12. Oh, he's easy. 13. Did you catch them all? How many did you get? Is the limit 15? 15, yeah. Any luck today? Uh, a couple sheep said. Yeah, man. Yeah, they... I walked out here, and people were catching them. I mean, they were just... Everybody was catching them, so I, <laughs> I took off to the bait shop to get some shrimp. Okay. By the time I came back, I caught, like, three, like, boom, 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 and then they just quit biting. I mean, it's been, like... See them all, yeah. One right there. I mean, you see them yeah. all over the place. Yeah, it's been like 45 minutes since I caught one, but I caught three. Just really, boom, boom, boom. there's one that's a good one. There, Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, these are really good, man. They got, I'm from Jersey, we're down here for the week. They got like human teeth, don't they? Like they got weird, weird teeth they, on them? Yeah, they've got a mouthful of teeth, yeah. yeah. Really white meat, very good eating. Okay, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're gonna try it in the morning, we're gonna come out a little bit. You know, I was out here early this morning, uh -huh. fishing for mackerel. Okay. I didn't really see anybody catching any. Okay. I left, I went to the, the bridge, yep. and uh, I fished the bridge and caught some fish and then I came back here and I just walked down and it was about I'm gonna say 11 o'clock and the bite was on but I was here first thing in the morning they weren't catching them okay. but uh, yeah I hear later this afternoon well, apparently they are hungry yeah you know if that's what it, I was here last week and they were swimming all around but I could not get them to bite really? you know? even, even them swimming? See, I thought if you see them, yeah but I, a guy told me they're spawning, and he said, you know, one, once they lay their eggs or whatever, then they start eating. But until okay. then, okay. so maybe uh, maybe they've been dropping their eggs. Because yeah. you know? <laughs> right. they're biting today. There you go. Good luck. All right, bye. Yeah, man. There we go. Look at that. On the knocker rig. Nice. Hey, I got another sheep's head fishing tip for you. You see that I've got a bucket there. I'm standing down on the rocks and I'm just swinging those things up and I try and get them right in the bucket as quick as I can. And here's the reason why. These fish are really, really powerful fish. And if you get them in your hands and you're trying to take the hook out, just you'll think that they're docile and they're not gonna flop around. And then all of a sudden they will just give a very powerful, you know, couple flips flip right out of your hand. You don't want that to happen. Have them fall down inside the rocks and, uh, you know, with the hook in or out. So I always try and get them inside of that bucket. And then I take the hook out while I've got them in the bucket. I don't have to worry about them flopping down in the rocks. Now, some guys use nets. Um, you know, I've just been flipping these things up in the bucket. Went fishing with my son-in-law and son the other day. We were just flipping them right into the boat. No problem. I mean, like even the big ones, like, you know, 14, 15, 16 inches, just flipping them right up. But anyway, why you fish for them however you want but hey there's a tip that's working for me and i remember guys thumbs up or appreciated let's get back to some more of this fish in action there he is oh that's a good one that's a good one there nice oh boy that's this big sheep head man big sheep's head big old sheep's head come on come on big guy come on in here come on in here nice Nice. Uh, the guys that was on the end uh, the other day, they were 
catching lots of them with uh, sand fleas. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. They like shrimp. It's like a lot of work to go catch sand fleas. <laughs> yeah, if you can find the right spot. Somebody said there were, oh, here we go. That's a good one. Somebody said there's a bunch of sand fleas on the beach. Yep, he's not going to make it. He's, he's just a little guy there. Really? Look, yeah, I got one. I think I got one 14 is my biggest today. All right, I need to catch me a sheephead here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Be close. About the same size as the one I just had. Yep. I don't know. I don't, I don't think he's going to make it either. I'm going to throw him back. It just... I already got five of them, you know? Ah. Pretty fish. Picture of him with my camera. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Finally. Nice big old sheep head, man. Big sheep head. Look at that guy. Oh, that's beautiful. What kind is that? Hold on just a minute. I got to pay attention to what I'm doing here. It's, uh, they're called sheep's head. Sheep's head, yeah, and they are. Uh, apparently they're spawning right now, so there's a lot of them in here. Mm, dang it, man. Crazy. Every time I catch a freaking fish, somebody comes over here and wants to talk. <laughs> That's a good one right there. Beautiful, man. Really nice. All right, here we go. There we go. Soon up, as soon as I got it in there. Tell you, there is a certain size shrimp they like. They, uh, it's got to be just the right size. Yeah. Their mouths are so small. It just, they don't mess with the big shrimp. The little, sh you know, medium size seems to be what they like. Thanks for the catch, man. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Biggest one of the day for sure. Hope I don't lose him. Is a good one. Yeah, on a shrimp head. Ha, ha, ha.